Hello and good evening. My name is John. This is Kerbal Just Out of Frame. And we are coming back to Read Only Memories. We last left off, we set our friend along the way and we got some new data. And we're taking a bit of a break here to get back at it. Computer still broken? Hey, right, no. Uh, can't even sell for scrap of parts. Alright, let's touch Terry. Let's keep on, keep at the path we're on, right? Yeah, I've looked at everything here. Poor plant. Let's take a nap. There's n more adventuring to do. All right, all right. Ready to head out? You bet it. Exclamation point. Okay, call. Boom. Here we are, Cusin. Koss IO Corporation building. It looks like most of the business on this block, business of it, are part of the same coalition under Koss IO Corp. Is that important? Well, perhaps. At the very least, it means it's unlikely they're the ones interfering with augmented eyes articles. Not impossible, but unlikely. How so? Generally, the companies in a coalition don't have a whole lot of overlap. Augmented Eye is a news app focused on local tech and culture stories with emphasis on hybrid and cybernetic rights and issues. None of the other companies in the coalition cover news, so they aren't related at all, which is very much a standard practice for these groups. They have nothing to gain by the companies with whom they compete, and thus none of them would benefit by trying to undermine Augmented Eye credibility as a news source. Can you tell me more about these coalitions? In the early 2020s, the California government was pretty much going bankrupt. Well, poor nation, national economy and repeat voter initiative meant the state didn't have the tax revenue to continue running manipul municipal services. They kept pushing the tax burden down the totem pole until the poorest cities were just flat broke. No police, no road work, complete public service collapse. And one of the smaller cities sold all of their public infrastructure, police and fire included, to a private corporation. This was eventually challenged in court, but several Silicon Valley corporations started a grassroots initiative to have citizens pass an amendment to the state constitution allowing it. They succeeded, and most of the major cities in the state sold off public services to private corporations. Some places, like Los Angeles, just sold the highest bidder, which is probably why LA is essentially in a constant game turf war, with one side wearing the uniforms of a studio and police force. The cities in the Bay Area were a little more selective, and most of the municipal services are owned by multi-corporation coalitions. They split the bill of running the city between them, and they keep out of each other, keep each other to make too corrupt in the usage of the police force, and such from fear of a PR disaster and being kicked out of the coalition. It means there isn't much money going around, which is why an NSFPD equipment is out of date, and the mesh net is so successful, is so successful over net normal cable networks. After all, Without the promise of city infrastructure bought and paid for, the corporations all treat running the city like a charity and a PR stunt. But at least the police aren't ir irredeemably, ir irredeemably corrupt. The fire trucks still show up on time and the water runs to all the parts of the city. That can't be said for some areas of the state. I didn't realize things were so bad elsewhere. Why hasn't the federal government stepped in? Ah, uh, I haven't spent enough time learning about the subject or politics in general to give you an educated answer, Houston. Feels like a cop-out touring. If I go by the posts people make on the MeshNet, I'd say a combination of having bigger fish to fry and came in corporate pressure. People seem certain that the larger multinational companies would love to be able to buy up their own towns on a national scale and are pumping money into Congress to try to make that happen. They hold up Neo San Fran as an example of their success while trying to bury in the problems of LA as an anomaly. Combine that with unrest abroad, and I guess I don't have a whole lot of motivation to try and stop it. Historical presidents seem to lend credit to this interpretation if you're willing to believe my hasty readings on the subject. Fair enough, thanks for filling me in. You're welcome, Cusin. I'm happy to assist. Well, learn a little bit. Welcome sign. It also welcomes Urban Assigner. How thoughtful. Talk to, the, no, talk to the welcome sign. It's voice control, the streaming cycle through business listings and available options. Touch it. Nothing to tap or touch. What is that? 
Bulbit's repair is one of the more popular display ferns in recent times. Expensive given the cost of caring for it. Right, so, species native to threaten tropical forests, but it becomes popular import after being endorsed by a formal child star turned conservatist. So why are there handles? Don't waste too much time thinking about this. The mission says I'll be to eyes as developed from by an individual named Zin. And Tom can confirm she's expecting us. What we'll do now is head up and talk to her. No shenanigans this time. I would never shenanigan again. What is you? Zin's IK47 Executive Series Round designed for office and high-level accounting maintenance. Better leave it. It looks like middle of high value calculation work. The IK47 are known for being verbose. Better leave it. Use my. Oh, I don't have my headphones. I'm gonna rummage your office, Lou. Picture of a toupee is an odd thing to frame. Oh, wait, there's an animal. That's an animal of some kind. Wah, wah. It'd be easier to talk if there's less hair and more distinguishable features. It's a picture. Pick up the frame and examine it before you ask. No, there's no secret part hidden in the back. Zin's window, you see the Bay Bridge from here. Please don't open that. It's chilly. That's a window, not your bathroom mirror. No time for embarrassing pep talks. It'll get Jones. Super Family Link! Oh yeah! Super Family Link! This plays all the old hits like Yonkey's Peninsula, Water Rash, I don't want to play Water Rash, and Super Slug 3 Revenge of the Super Slug. Not plugged in any monitor, and your, ma your imagination is only so powerful. Blow on the cartridge. That's only an old rumor. You're not actually supposed to blow into the cartridge. Monitors live up to weather forecast in the bottom of the corner screen. Seems like the type of person punished someone for fiddling with settings. Stash of video games. Sweet. An open duck game. <laughs> this game gives me the urge to start quacking a control light. Is something wrong with me? You shouldn't be playing video games right now. I'm technically playing one right now. Shoot, voice controls were popular in the next generation games. Forever. Planned office painting. Not my style, but I like the warm tones. Motivational poster. You didn't know people still have motivation posters. Unironically. Desk. Swanky looking desk that curves at the edges. Not made of wood, but you can still knock on it. Alright, what are you? Jade plant. Must be really ever dust plant. It's meticulously trimmed and treated. Professional care of these plants disease puts your well intentioned and misguided overwatering to shame. Their leaves glimmer in the sun. Almost too perfect to understand. Alright. Sharp just woman stares you down. Don't look away. No need to shake her hand before you speak. Oh, hello! Welcome to Augmented Eye. You must be a journalist my network admin said would be showing up. Have a seat. Would you like a drink? A hassy hot would hit the spot. I like saying that. Ah, good choice. My assistant will bring it right away. Look, I'll start off by saying I'm a little uncomfortable about bringing in another journalist to look into this. Whatever you dig up, I'll have to explain to the rest of the press, but it's still better than other options. Chances are I have another corporation scoping out my territory. If they aren't in the coalition, they'll be expecting a corporate spy, not a news hound. They are in the corporation, it won't look good for me to send my own reporters giving reporters against my allies. Even if I do end up being right. So if I'm damned either way, I'd rather be by the media. Our kind are considerably less nasty than the other CEOs. Now, what do you know about the problem here? Someone is tampering with their articles on the mesh. That's the long and short of it. My network admin is pulling their hair up out over it. I'm not going to pretend I understand everything they say, but from what I understand, the changes to our articles aren't being made from inside our network. The versions on our servers are still originals, but at some point after the mesh, they get changed. I'm hoping that you could do some digging, maybe hit up your contacts to get a lead on who might be doing it. Even if they get the answer from the nightly news, it would be a big help. What kind of change do we make? Most little things, word choice, tone of writing, things that make the writer appear more or less extreme on a topic. So far, almost all the edits seem to be making our articles more positive on new technologies coming out and more critical or digital resolution that are anti-tech. That's actually what tipped us off. A harsh criticism one of my writers made about the HR protest was changed to downright vitriolic, and I had a hell of a time putting out the fires. 
My writers and readers aren't exactly fans of them, but I'd rather not pick fights with HR if I didn't have to. Why are you sure this is an inside job? I guess I'm not, but my network admin assures me it's all coming from somewhere else. They told me they tore out all the routers that broadcast the mesh and replaced them with fresh ones. All kinds of tricks about IP addresses and DNS changes that I'm going to claim I understand. I'm not going to claim I understand. I paid them big bucks, so I'm inclined to believe them unless you dig up something that tells me otherwise. Do you have any ideas where I start looking? Not really. My admin says the only someone with intimate knowledge of access to parallax network protocols can make these kind of changes if something passes across the net. So Tomcat. I personally think this is a clever hacker rather than someone inside Parallax itself. The company's strangling grip on the mesh net provision is probably due to the public's absolute trust in them as one of the good guys. It's trivially easy to set up ROMs to use different OS and LIPS or a different mesh net protocol without that trust. I could be wrong. If you have hungry news now, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Okay, let's start. I know it isn't a whole lot to go on, but without all the answers, you wouldn't be standing in my office. Anything else you want to ask? With the understanding that I'm not going to give you anything I think you can use against me? Why are you being targeted? Like what? There isn't much more I can tell you about Augmented Eye, really. It's a fairly simple and straightforward operation, if I say so myself. I started off in Venezuela as a sink. Current events and news organization in 2055, almost 10 years ago now. We focus on more in-depth reporting on all the street happenings on the top of major news. We're one of the few good ones left. Once folks in other cities saw the type of reporting we do, they all clamored for it. They invested in the right places and it paid off. Chaos IO Corp is happy to have us here in Neo SF. It wasn't until hybrid tech started hitting the public sphere that we made, had to make any changes to our model. All that said, I can't see why anyone would target us, unless they're just trying to embroil us in a mid sleeping match with the human resolution. Revolution. And there are more direct ways of making that happen. You know if anybody else has anyone else do you know anyone else has article that they played? Anyone else have? Okay. No if anyone else has articles being manipulated? A bit chunky. Yeah, alright, look. I wasn't gonna tell you this. If it gets out, I'll have to answer some really hard questions. So, off the record, you might want to check out TMI Entertainment and Charlie Nova. That's all I'll say. Can't blame you for not wanting to be connected to a you after a sometimes competitor. What's the real reason you're bringing in outside help? Hmm. Your own journalist should be able to handle digging up some dirt on a hacker. What? Not wanting to answer prying questions from my coalition board isn't a good enough reason? Because I'd really like to avoid that. And look, you've covered culture wars, you know? Covered culture wars, you know? My journalists are good, but they're mostly good at digging up leads on new gadgets and implants, making sure they don't have stacked too many stims, remembering what they did at raves after for the after party report. They're not experienced enough at real investigation journal investigative journalism, they don't have the right context. The fact that my network admin recommended me to you means probably you probably know the right people. Is that enough ego polishing for you, or should I go on? That's it for now. I'll get back to you if I have more questions. No, don't bother. In hindsight, I probably should have been a bit more circumspect about speaking to you. Plausible deniability and all that. I won't ask you to lie in anything you write, but do remember you got in contact with me, not even secondhand, but thirdhand. I certainly didn't stick you on anyone. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, or whatever. If you need anything else, have your person get with my person. Don't come here directly. Now, I'll show you the door, but you know the way. And this isn't, one of the, um, this isn't the only fire I'm trying to put out. Good luck and goodbye. Boop. Well, that was more computational than I had expected, considering she was the one needing help. She never brought you that hassle either. Minor cat emergency. Come here. Come here. Oh. Okay. She never brought you that hassle either. Is it always like this, Cusin? Oh, it's always like this. She knows the game, but we didn't walk. Can you don't give me this much? Secrets are expensive. I've got lies. I remember much to write about. She knows the game, but we didn't walk away with nothing. Very true. I will admit that I'm interested in the possibility of a link back to Parallax. If all this really is due to someone manipulating the mesh net on the inside, I think it was a leverage we need to find out what happened hated once and for all. That said, 
take care not to get my hopes up. We should make no assumptions when investigating, at least we lead ourselves down a false path. Anyway, it seems like our next step is... What's that? Oh! Uh... She doesn't... Huh? What the? That's Zin! Oh no, we need to help her. It's too late, Kuzin. Considering the angle and height of the fall, rendering suitable aid is beyond our capacities for right now. Your desire is laudable, but emergency services are already on the way. They will assist her as much as they can. We should head back to her office and see if we can determine what happened here. Perhaps we can still dispense justice. I got my zapper. Oh, it looks like the desk has been cleared off. Let's take a look around, but be careful not to disturb any evidence. The police will be here soon. IK-47 lies still. Looks like it was destroyed mid-data appraisal. Don't touch it. The audio receptors are one of the most visibly damaged parts. The, the flawless foliage hath fallen. Ah, her personal computer is not pass protected at the moment. Give me a moment to look through her files. Let's keep your fingerprints off the keyboard. Hmm. This isn't very interesting. Media reports, financials, article submissions. Oh, here we go. According to this email between Zinn and her network, Admin, her lead on TMI Entertainment is a little more solid than she led us to believe. The admin ran a web crawler looking for changes in writing styles. Some blog posts by their head anchor, Charlie Nova, stood out like a sore thumb. Apparently, he's a bit pompous, if, a, in, if in a affable way, and his blog usually just details his day to day life. But ever since the human revolution has been in town, he's been smearing them with more venom than you'd expect, considering how neutral his on air reporting has been. Zinn seems to think he was just complaining about the protesters falling in traffic, and whoever was manipulating these posts spun it to make it look like a more critical the moment as a whole. Just like the augmented eye journalist. This Charlie fellow is one we need to talk to. My thermal sensors only touch a single set of lingering footprints, and they all end almost three feet away from the window. Between the density of the glass, I can't imagine Zinn jump from that far and manage to throw herself into pain without help. But who could have done it? I don't see any obvious marks on the floor other than the thermal, or any other thermal hot spots. You're saying no one else was here? It was the robot. Doesn't look like it. We should go, Cusin. If there's anything else here, and the police are almost on the scene. We can't afford to be slowed by undue suspicion. Lexi. Son of a! I should have figured the two of you would be here. You just won't stay out of trouble no matter what I say, will you, Cusin? Play off, will you? You don't know what you're talking about. It's a total misunderstanding. I assure you, Detective Rivers, we are merely in the wrong place at the wrong time. We had an appointment with Zinn to discuss a possible lead and found her office in the state and of disrepair. Of course you did. Damn it. Fine, fine. Get the hell out of here before anyone else shows up. But mark my words, the two of you will be answering to my, my question but I'm not screaming to fill off the pavement. You hear me? Certainly, Detective Rivers. I'll forward you a report of what we know immediately. We'll speak further at a later time. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Get moving. Whoa, that's a lot of police spots. Why did you lie to Lexi? We could have told her the truth of the articles. I do not need you to infer upon my motivations or... I do not need you to infer upon my motivations or highlight my duplicity. Betty Rivers has every bit of information that Zim gave us on the computer. Her investigation will not be hampered by our absence, where ours is halted with respect to giving answers she can just well get from the hard drive. Literally. Has it occurred to you that whatever, whoever threw Zin out the window could be after the same thing we are, except to silence the story rather than get it out? We have little time for fooling about, and we must get to Charlie Noah before something happens to him too. Now, unless you have further recognitions to level at me, we must not squander the time my dishonesty has brought us. 
I've highlighted the SF offices for the TMI for now. Let's go. Let's go. TMI. TMI Entertainment. I have a squirrely cat. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Want to go on the desk. Hmm. I hope some pity for me still remains when considering my recent tone because I'm honestly not sure what we should start. Where we should start, Cusin. I suppose we should just ask the receptionist to point us to someone who can answer our questions. Do you know anything about TMI Entertainment? Honestly, you do not have your own. You do, do have your own mesh access, yes? I'm quite certain you can handle all the casual searches you might feel like making. You hardly have time for me to blather about every bit of expectation you desire when you could just go look it up on your own. You're acting really different, Turing. You're acting very different. Um, you just do a good job making it concise. Fair enough. If you think it'll save time, I can continue to rattle off these facts when you ask for them. I just ask you keep your queries to a minimum. We don't have a lot of time. Let me pull up the information you requested. What can you tell me about TMI Entertainment? TMI Entertainment is a relatively popular celebrity and gossip news collaboration. Uh, they own OK Today. They did a good job transitioning from the traditional media models of television news to net based model prevalence now, pirating by digital newspaper OK Today, the Scanline. Scanline's a good name. Some might call their programs rags, but opinion on the mesh team is more favorable than not. They stick to mostly good nature prying and lean away from the seedier nastiness that pop process can get up to. As such, they have positive relations with many celebrities. Uh, and you regularly get exclusive scoops on their rating scoops that keep the ratings up despite their refusal to pedal in the darker side of celebrity news. What do you know about Charlie Nova? Charlie Nova is TMI Entertainment's most popular TV personality. Well, that's nice. He's gotten consistently high ratings for almost a decade and isn't afraid to tell you about it. The chat on the mesh paints him as a bit arrogant, but you know, that loud, backsliding kind of way that makes a media star makes a media something like that a media star can get away with. Best known for hosting Star in the Stratosphere, it's one of those talent seeking reality programs. Apparently, when TMI can't organically discover enough subways, they just manufacture them. Not eh, fair. Also, according to this blog, Charlie's hair is flawless. Got it. Plant. Uh, talk to Plant. This plant is clearly young. You should encourage it. You can't take it, it's too young to go through that much change. Table, logo, buzzer. Not yours to press, but the urge is overpowering. Best plan. Alright, hello. You look distracted. Are you okay? Oh, those are bunny ears. I didn't even see. A hybrid reception bobs her. Bobs on her heels. She's either had a long day staring or just as. Standing or just fidgeting. I know you're used to computers used to computers being your only coworkers, but with humans you should have to speak to them if you wanted them to do something. Question, 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 question. Welcome to TMI Entertainment Incorporated. Do you have an appointment? Um No, we need to talk to Charlie Nova. I uh, really can't let you in without an appointment. I can be a pension for next Wednesday. We don't have the time for this. People's lives are on the line here, and all you care about is appointments. Calm down, Terry. Oh, um, look, if it's that important, I can buzz you through to Symphony. Symphony. But she isn't going to be very happy about being bothered off schedule, so don't get your hopes up. And uh, try not to make her too mad. I'll be the one dealing with the fallout. Right. Of course, I apologize. We'll be as tactful as possible, I assure you. Okay. She's over the other side of the room. Head straight there. She doesn't like when people bother her the talents. About eight Oli news rom putters speedily cross the production floor, frantically for the next big scoop. Milk. No. 
no. News round doesn't hear it. Oh, well. Assistant. What's up? Have you been turning into the show? Numerous room employee. Leads in a target. Hey! Where are you about my people? Get over here. If I told you to cancel my appointments for the day. I swear that girl can't find her ears with both hands, even if she does make a damn good cup of coffee. You would think with ears like her, she wouldn't have such selective hearing. Are you sympathy? 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 Sympathy. Nina said we should speak to you. Yes, of course. I'm sympathy. Who do you think keeps the clocks running around here? Your glasses are a bit much. So, what the hell are you doing in my building? We've been given a lead on a story that involves one of your employees, Charlie Nova. You might not have noticed, but someone has been manipulating parts, posts going on the net to make them more extreme against human evolution, including articles posted by Mr. Nova. We're trying to track down the culprit, and we need to talk to Nova to hunt down further leads. You let your ROM do all the talking for you, huh? Must be one of those new interrogation models that all fresh meat are raving about. Look, of course I know someone's been modifying Charlie's articles. And I'm in the midst of tracking them down myself. What I want to know is why I should help you snatch the scoop off from underneath me. Super hacker twist MeshNet news for personal political vendetta? The clicks basically find themselves. Say that to Zin. Zin? I meant an I, Zin? What does Zin have to do with this? She's the one who gave us the lead to begin with. Then, someone threw her out of her office window. We figured Mr. Nova might be next, and we wanted to get to him before they got they did. Holy crap. Fine, I'll let you talk to Charlie. If someone's trying to kill people over this, I'd rather be out and done as with as fast as possible, even if I lose the scoop. We're entertained at Zine, and I'm not willing to have any of my people die for this story. But that doesn't mean you get to stop all over the Charlie to get what you want. He's a pompous clown, but he's my pompous clown. Keep it civil, or I'll throw your ass out of here and figure this out on my own. Now get on it, I need to make some calls. Well, hello. He's practically glowing, and has people waiting on him hand and foot. Definitely the talent. Oh, fine, you can touch my hair once. That was nice. Fantastic! How fantastic! I just love your ROM! Not quite as stunning as mine, but still pretty grand. Very sleek, very clean. Bravo! Oh, Sympathy is doing that thing where she waves at me to hurry things up. Right down to the brass tacks then, I suppose. Wait, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Charlie Nova. Host of Tonight in the Stars and Stars in the Stratosphere. But you already knew that, I'm sure. What can I do for you? Why don't you tell me a little about yourself? Oh, you flatter me. Yes, you do. I can imagine you've come way to get my story, have you? After all, I've already published my very own splendid autobiography, like a Nova. But I suppose I can give you a quick rundown, even if sympathy is giving me the stink eye. I grew up here on the mean streets in the OSF, but my jocular nature and striking counter countenance got me scouted for a few small product advertisements. And the rest is history. Now I'm the host of the largest celebrity news show on the mesh, and I couldn't be happy. It's all thanks to my fans, though. They're the ones who count. Can you tell me about TMI? Yes, any additional information on your station would be greatly appreciated. Well, I can tell you that it's the best damn network on the planet. I confirm that 100% absolutely. We put out top-notch news and entertainment, but with real heart that our competition competitors just can't match. But if you really want to know about TMI, you need to know about sympathy. It's her pride and joy, after all. Sure, she can be a little... Seabrook? And sure, she calls me a poorly-haired oaf all the time, but you can really tell she cares, you know, deep down. I'm not sure if that throat-cutting gesture she's making is a signal to move on to the top or a threat against my physical well-being. So, let's move on. What's next? 
Have you heard that your stories are getting altered once they get posted on Mesh? It may have come up in the last lunch meeting we had, but simply assures me that it was some kind of technical glitch, and I swear people were on top of it. They, they are top-notch, probably the best money can buy. So I don't think there's anything more to say on the subject. We've heard other people's posts are getting altered too. That's very upsetting. I hope that you've passed the information on to sympathy. I'm certain our tech people will be able to find the culprit in short order once they have enough information. I don't really know what I have to do with it though. No more, it was your poster. Chuck, I'm sure you're better informed than that, right? You're at the top of the heap, yeah? It's Charlie. And of course, I'm leading man around here. Who says that otherwise? I'm not quite certain what you think it is. Think it is that I don't know, but I assure you I know it. You won't be able to trip me up that easily. Someone's already over ended up over someone has already ended up in the hospital over this chip. It's Charlie. And Sympathy never mentioned that. But still, she said the tech guys are on top of it, and I'm gonna have to trust her. I'm not scared of some boogeyman. This isn't the first time I've dealt with something like this. Is it? Security has to throw, the obsessed fit, throw out obsessed fans all the time. I'm made of sterner stuff than you think. Zane fell her office window over this, Chaz. It's Charlie, damn it. I like playing with this name. And wait, what? Yeah, someone tried to murder Zen. What? What on earth? I... Okay. I'll tell you what I know. I didn't realize how serious it had gotten, but I'm glad to help. Unfortunately, I really only have conjecture to offer you. Good enough. Trust me, I'd love to lay down some earth-shattering pronunciations and douse you with investigation skills, but all I've got is flimsy threads at best. The thing is, all the stuff in my stories? Stuff getting changed, making it look like I don't like the human revolution or whatever? It started after I had a upgrade to my VR uplink hardware. What kind of upgrade? The technically legal kind. Look, I like to have a good time at party, right? But sympathy keeps hammering at me for pounding back too much cash, cr crash, and whatnot. Nothing illegal, but she says it makes me look like crap on camera the next day. So I went to this guy I know. Good guy. Everybody uses him. He's called Nonia. It is great work. After just one simple back alley brain surgery, bing, bang, boom. I can use an app to make my VR uplink have the same effect on my brain that stims do without all the nasty physical side effects. Could be a coincidence, though. You did what to your brain? The tech guys could find anything wrong with my uplink, and they said the modifications check out. But that guy does a lot of work for the media people around here, so a bunch of folks are getting changed. Maybe Noya's the weak link. Anyway, that's it. Pretty flimsy, but I'll have my ROM pass his address to your ROM. I mean, you can talk to him. If he'll even see you, that is. Thanks for the help. Oh, it was no problem. No problem at all. I'm quite happy to assist any way that I can. Just make sure you source me in your article, right? Maybe run a rough draft past me and I'll give you some quotes. I'm certain that'll help signal boost the story all the way to the stratosphere. Give the old Charlie Nova bump. Anyway, I really have to get back to work. You wouldn't believe how long it takes to put all this together before a show. Let me know how it goes with the murderous hacker thing. Well! That's another death on, uh, on our watch. Not really our fault, but things are getting rotten. And I'm talking about just... I had nothing. I had something, wanted to do something to Charlie, and I got nothing. Charlie, Charlie Nova. No rotten Novas here. I got nothing. This is Read All the Memories. Cheers. <laughs>